So Orkane versus Crag on Tower of Heaven. Deep Break versus ZB. Already, the, generally the, the plus side of being in ZB's position is like he, he's completely warmed up because he was literally just playing a set. And he has a lot of great momentum right now too because, I mean, hey, he beat full stream, right? Yeah. Like that, that does a lot for your mental game right now going into this. There's going to be Deeper who's going to need to really force and make a statement right now. Uh, get, get his hands warmed up real quick. Yeah, Dolphin Brick also definitely has a lot of experience in, I mean, pretty much every matchup, but against Krag in particular. He's played a lot against MSB. He's played against AC cards. So he's seen this. Oh, but uh, he hasn't seen that. I guess not. He was backing away after he broke the pillar, but the rock was still yeah, able the, to hit him. The rock was following him. <laughs> it was like, no. <laughs> Dolphin seeking uh, Boulder, I guess. Gonna go ahead and get that parry. Charge Fully charged down so Wow. Long. This this isn't Claren. That will actually be able to kill very easily. Yes. Especially with how charged it was. He had him in he had him stuck in that kind of corner, so he knew he could charge it. Yeah. Be able to find that down tilt and looking for the back air. So the forward air comes out. Right there, really nicely timed bubble to catch him while he was had Boulder out. Okay, DI'ing to his boulder so he could tech off the side of it. That was actually genius of ZB. He got caught right afterwards by Derek, but like he's on point with his defense. Yeah, Derek making this look really tough for Craig. Yeah. All that, uh, like you said, all those years of experience still paying off right now. And just be able to teleport right under that platform. Being able to react immediately to that down strong and get himself. Another edge guard situation. Oh, oh, let's see what the conversion is here. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. ZB on top of it completely, just knowing exactly how Deeper would react in that situation. That you know, Deeper wants to get off that platform as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy the puddle. That's as fast as escape. And right there, we saw something where I've been thinking about changing. Honestly, uh, Deeper came back from uh, respawn and tried to parry. Yeah. And he wasn't able to because he was still invincible. <laughs> So I've been thinking about like what if when you parry, uh, the parry activates, but then like you draw also lose invincibility. And that makes a lot of sense. So like man. you kind of like as soon as the parry starts, it's like you could parry something, but then when the parry's over, you're you just kind of cut your invincibility short. That way there's a risk to it, but then if you know your opponent is doing something, you can still get the good hard punish on it. Yep. It makes sense to me, man. Especially because there's times where like, honestly, like even in tournament, let's say. Uh, Dogbrick had just spawned in his last life, and uh, ZB's in death percent, and you miss that parry, that could be like a oh. change, you know? That, yeah, that, that, that's the set right there. Yeah, that, that could be the match for sure. We're going to be going to Rock Wall now for game two. It's going to be a ZB's pick. I mean, small, really small side blast zones. A favorite for Crags everywhere because of the, you know, the prevalence of fair. Just already, already the distance is able to get at like 40%, 50%. I love the uh, movement by Dump Break. Yeah. It's always like one of the most fun things to watch of him. The the bubble stream that he sets up. Yeah. It's it's actually the thing that's terrifying is like if you get hit by that, like you can actually die. Like <laughs> you yeah. can combo into an up air right afterwards and kill you. Or just getting hit by it off stage too. Yeah. Puddle getting set up on that rock. Decides to put it somewhere a little bit more permanent. Wow, actually being able to roll on the boulder before the shards were able to hit him, ZB. Staying away uh, from getting jumbled on the side of the stage. He's going to find the shards. A few more for good measure. Trying to intercept the forward area. He was expecting it earlier than it came out, but then the upstrong covered it anyway. Wow, that was a weird, like, Dovenberg was down something that right as uh, ZB's uh, down special hit. Mm -hmm. The Rock was, like, very confused on <laughs> whose side it was going to be on. It just kind of split the difference. Almost finds... Something big. He's, uh, right now, uh, looks like ZB's having trouble finding like a proper like party starter. He's getting a lot of like two-piece combos at the least, and like these things add up. He's already got himself 86% on Deep Brick. <laughs> oh my gosh! I didn't even know he had a bottle down there. That's <laughs> so crazy. Oh my gosh! That combo, and he followed him the whole way. Yeah, tons of pressure right there. Recognizing that, like, you know, ZB just wanted to get back on stage, please, and then just found the down strong right afterwards off it. Oh my gosh! All of that knockback. Deeprick managing to stay alive a little bit, but it has to use his air dodge. And then ZB recognizes yeah. that and finds a very strong punish afterwards. 
Right Ooh. there, nice turnaround by ZB to uh, take out the parry. Yeah, uh, the, when you when Crack turns around, you know the hitbox goes away for just a moment. That does a fantastic punish on people's parry attempts. Oh, Zebra's gonna go ahead and find that jab combo. Not much more off of it. And meanwhile, I mean, we have ZB already bringing the percents back to oh. even, back to his favor. That yeah. is something that people have been getting deep right for a <laughs> lot in this top eight. Kikasol did the same thing to him when he was off stage too. Yep. It's you, oh sorry, yeah. You have to be aware of kind of what your opponent is doing now when you bubble. Like when the game first came out, it was like bubbles were just like you just spam bubbles because whatever, like they're yeah. amazing. And then once we kind of had Perry stun added that to bubbles, it became. It slowly. It wasn't even immediate because players still weren't parrying them because they're actually quite hard to parry. Yeah. But like just getting one there, like when you're off stage, it's it's really tough because like you have to kind of anticipate when the when the hurricane's even going to be doing that move. But then the reward, like we just saw, that's huge. That is a stock in your favor. Whereas the hurricane would have gone like 20%, like a little bit of stage control. Yeah. I mean, we did see Dolphin Brick uh, get a little bit out of like using them as traps on a uh, like bagel with the bubble to up air. Oh, that is true. Yeah. But yeah, generally, if you're off stage like that, you're it's gonna, you're not gonna get much follow up other than just the bubbles, like the damage and kind of the protection. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Down strong. Gonna send ZB once again off stage, and we have this wall of bubbles just being in his path. He finally makes it to center stage, only to get parry punished with the down strong. Ebrick yep. only at 39% right now. Can find his way back into the middle of stage. This is what Ebrick's been holding on to so nicely. Maybe not for much longer. We're seeing a great juggle game coming out from ZB. I do love that uh, D-Brick has been going for like the charge down strongs as his parry punish. Yeah. Cause like Orkin looks like he's like waiting for like a really good part of the music, like the drop <laughs> to hit. Like, right before he does it. If you synchronize with the actual drop of yeah. the song, it does like 0.5 bonus knockback. Somebody has to make like a combo video where it's just like every time the beat drops, it's just a down strong. <laughs> I want to see that actually. <laughs> Oh my god, that was actually nice, okay. That was very cool. <laughs> down, down tilt into reading the DI in and just getting the down strong right afterwards. I mean, that's why D-Brick picks this level. Like, the wave land combos you can do here are, like, so good. And D-Brick's, like, one of the best at it. Mm -hmm. Really, just the, the, the platform movement of Orkane is just so strong. Because, like, at any moment, he can also just drop off that platform, hit you with a bear or an air. And meanwhile, you, know, you can wave dash up there. He can reach up there with his up strong off yep. a puddle as well. Woo! That was an interesting trajectory. I thought he'd be spiked for that. Yes, yeah, scout yeah, out right at the top. Right Perfectly lined it waiting. up. Oh my gosh, almost closes it there with two stocks left. Oh. Oh, oh through I the pillar. Doesn't find the back right afterwards. And in oh, fact, ZB man, turns the ZB, tables. Yeah, takes it on him. Oh, what? That Deck was brilliant. Wall. Because he set himself up between, like, between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, he like, really actually, did. and then he teched off both of them. Yeah. It looked like it was real bad for him, and instead he was like, no. <laughs> this, this is just as planned. This is my domain. Here, this is home. I have built myself a villa, a, a cottage <laughs> here in this blazing hideout. <laughs> okay, yo. Dude, oh. the double parry here. Oh, Dolphin Rick, no, with a little bit Dolphin of a Dolphin Rick, he's dead. He's dead. ZB laughing hysterically at that. <laughs> Yo, I think that was actually, that play was actually what put him in that position. Yeah. I actually can't believe that. Wow. You learn so many new things every single day in Rivals. So much creativity from all of these players. Nobody else could have thought of that. No, like, just, nobody else. He's just... Playing Minecraft over here. <laughs> Zebrick thinks he's playing rival. ZB's building himself a home. There's some shelter so he can tech off it whenever he wants. Oh my gosh. And already starting off so strong as if he didn't drop a beat from the previous game. Already getting 61%. Now he's the one sitting off stage though. Zebrick's, again, just trying to go back to the way the neutral was before that very end of that previous yeah. game. Just like, I was able to stay a couple steps ahead of you thanks to this platform. And you didn't have a good answer for that then. So I'm just gonna go back to that game plan, see if that can steer me through this one. Oh, whips right there with the up strong. Yeah, when you're playing against Krag, like a big thing is how early you close out the stocks, because they can just last forever if you don't uh if you keep
can't, you can't close him early. Oh, yeah. Things are looking kind of scary right now, too. We have so much percent on this Arcane. And, wow. <laughs> I've never been so scared of a of a crag wave dashing like on top yeah. of that platform. Yeah, he's using the uh, the stages platform, the wave landing against them. Yeah, just taking taking a note out of your opponent's book. Very terrifying stuff. Ooh, I love that movement, the back air and there. We finding that puddle. The next set of bubbles coming in hot for D Brick. It's gonna need a little bit more though. Oh my gosh. You like hear the hit sound, and I'm like, oh, I think he thought he was dead, but it was the rock getting popped. Yeah, it, it's such a scary, it's a thick, meaty clunk yeah. every single time Crack hits something, and it feels like someone just died. It does. I was nervous, but then Dolphin Break had managed to escape. Oh, we have the jabs coming out. His percent's dead even. And the hunt from ZB is just so wild. Oh, my God. Nice up tilt there. Perfect angle to get those shards on him. Yeah. And ZB right now, he's been using his pillar from above d -Brick quite a bit lately. And that's so dangerous to do because of any of these times d -Brick sniffs it out and just like crouch cancels the pillar, right? Now he's in a position to like up tilt up air. Oh, uses the parry on down special. That was so smart too because that way if it gets parried, he gets hit by the water droplet and he can disengage without getting parried oh, by anything bigger. Oh no! Oh my god! That was god. only option and ZB was just chilling right there. <laughs> Yeah. ZB was just hanging out. ZB was like, I'm going to chase him to that side of the screen. And then gets caught by the puddle on his way yep. over there. <laughs> the ZB crowd, here, though. though. The, the chance coming out for ZB, very loud. But d -Brick's not going to go down without a fight. I don't think we set up the Smash GG Fantasy for this, but I wish we did, because whoever had ZB would have been like, <laughs> They'd be the rolling in it right now. Yeah. Whoever would pick like all the crags, they'd be like, oh, yes, my loyalty pays off. <laughs> My crag loyalty, finally, after all these years. <laughs> it's been years. Oh? Oh my oh, gosh. Just out of range. Can Dobbinbrick clutch this out? This is going to have to be he almost incredibly does it. clutch. Finds the back air. You see these air dodges coming out every single time. He doesn't have a confirm. He does something defensive instead. Dbrick not wanting to let his last stock go any earlier. Oh, the man, double that jump was, by oh, ZB. And he still dodged the upstrog. But here we come. More bubbles coming out. Oh, we have the downstrog not going to do the trick. Such good How DI. Did he get that downstrog off before ZB was able to do anything. There we go. Oh, that oh, is man. it. Wow, clutch brick. Yeah, and that's that's that situation where bubbles we were talking about become so strong is because the opponent can't parry them. They're stuck in the air. They oh, just yeah. have to accept that this is happening to them every time they come back to the stage. And d -Brick knew that. He just kept refreshing that puddle over and over again. But just a wall of bubbles, please, so I can find this up air. d -Brick's being very patient. So, like, ZB's doing the traditional kind of crag recovery that we've seen, which is, like, get, go low, dodge their stuff, pillar right up against the stage then wait them out, kind of jump, do empty hops, get them to kind of commit to a recovery, and then go up and over. Yeah. But d -Brick's just been, as you said, put a puddle down, neutral special bubble. Put a puddle down, neutral special <laughs> bubble. Just like keep refreshing it. ZB actually has managed to slip through. I think even once he like got on stage barely and parried. Yeah. But um, a lot of the times, d -Brick has been getting the bubbles off, and there we saw he was able to convert into an up air, which ended the stock. Yeah. Here we are, though, the final game here on Endless Abyss. No platforms to get in the way. A pure, uh, it's, it's a stage for a pure zoning battle, especially like if you just are done with dealing with your opponent doing like wave landing shenanigans. That's true. I think Dbrick has already shown that he can adjust to this well, though, with the, just the bubble combos he's been doing. Yeah. Those, those fairs, he's doing them so high that like there's no chance of parrying because it's not even the not opponent can to the ground. Yeah, you can't possibly land in time. And here we go, seeing something quite similar. Oh, the back air not coming out in time. Oh my Sal gosh, Strong's he doing the trick. a brick. d already in a fantastic position, almost lapping in percent. He's going to do the trick right now, yeah. Okay, oh now gosh. he's feeling oh, spicy. Dude. This man is feeling he spicy. Was, yes, dude, that second side special. <laughs> like, because he hit with the first, he's like, hey, I can do it again. Yeah, he was, Why not? <laughs> oh, Eddie pops the rock. Yeah, he's just feeling like anything's working right now, so he might as well just keep throwing out hitboxes. Okay, this is a guy with is. all the momentum in the world. ZV, you can see him kind of a little frustrated right now. Going from having all the win in your sails to this, now being down two stocks, nice, now being down nice. one stock. We have seen momentum shift a lot this uh, this set though, so I would, if I was ZB, I would just be like, you can do this. Yeah, you already took two games off, and some of them off some amazing comebacks. So, oh my gosh, fair, fair the way, fair all the way to victory. I like the way that ZB is handling his neutral because he recognizes 
Dolphin Brick feels like he's fire right now. So you're seeing him step back, giving him oh, that room no. to hang himself. He, he wanted to dash to it. He's gonna set up that pillar. And here we go, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat right there. Yeah, here we're seeing that setup I was talking about last game. Oh, oh the perfect oh! spacing in off of that. No he way. finds double up air and he evens up the stock count and he finds the first opening too. This is oh it. Oh my gosh, he just evens it he up. He just made it even. Bringing it all the way back from there. It had to be here. It had to be Endless Abyss where there's nothing but just these two fighters just trying to climb their way into this top three at Shine. No, that is. Oh, it's not it. It's not it. Do you, Dolphin Brick DIing for dear life, just backing away now, finding that back air, not gonna find the up air, and chasing down that roll. This is oh, it! The bowler no. saving him with the shard! ZB stays in the fight! Oh my gosh! It's DI absolutely incredible. The awareness. Oh, he doesn't get the up air! This, this rinsing pattern no longer working. Looks like ZB's oh, no longer like the laundry. The shards coming in this time to help oh. Brick. Great, just getting out of the way. <gasps> Those shards almost did it. Oh, oh that's gonna do the trick, and ZB it. does it. ZB does it. He takes out Debrick and finds his way now to the <laughs> losers' finals. And Debrick, Evo champion, Evo 2018 champion, gonna have to step down at oh fourth place my at Shine. Gosh, he just gets stormed on stage too. Yo, ZB's run though has become kind of legendary suddenly. Yes. Because like, at, at, like Jackie Phoenix, that set we were talking about earlier, like that was incredible to watch. Oh, dude, fantastic I fantastic yeah. clutch play. But then from there, being able to take out full stream and then Debrick, immediately cementing himself as a crag everyone should know. Wow, yeah, I, that Jackie Peanuts set was crazy because like I felt like Jackie Peanuts was the one like just coming out of like left field with all these wacky, like, <laughs> just like being super aggressive, crazy off stage. But then once ZB knocked him out, like ZB has been doing that too, just like. Unexpected crag. He's consumed his crag brethren and has become has. stronger exactly. for it. Yes. It's, it's like every time a crag falls, they give their spirit and energy <laughs> they do. to the one remaining. Yeah. They pass on their boulder. That's the spirit boulder. We saw MSB passing on a little bit of his recovery. Uh